everyone. So, let's address one thing that needs to be changed in the choice system. As it was brought up by someone in uh, the Patreon, they noticed a issue when they typed their dialogue files a certain way. So here's the choice that we were working with in the last episode. And you'll see that if I end the choice and have just this line at the end, then we get presented with the choice. I can choose dogs and we can go through it all. And then once we're through, we see that ending line. So everything seems to work great. However, if we were to remove that line and immediately end off any choice with nothing that proceeds after it, then we can still pull up our choice, but once we go to click any choice, what we get is an argument out of range exception. Say the index was out of range must be non-negative and less than the size of the collection. So the index that we're passing into the conversation here in line 21 is out of bounds. Now that is coming when we are checking for has reached end. That line in itself is fine, but there is something that we need to change. Right now, there is a problem and an oversight that I did not see when I made this system, and that lies within our conversation manager. So all of our enqueuement is working just fine. And once we run our conversation, and we, this is actually where we're having the issue. If, if you look down in the log, then where we're calling for the current line, we're having an issue at the beginning of this loop. But if we look down at the end where we try to advance the conversation, for whatever conversation we were running at this particular frame, we go ahead and increment the progress, and then we check if it's reached the end, then we go ahead and, and dequeue it. However, with the queue and this choice system, this does not take into account that at the time at which we run this, we might be running the first conversation in the file, but once we run this, it could actually be running this after a new priority conversation has taken effect. So we will be incrementing the progress of that initial conversation, and we will be checking if that has reached the end, but the queue is doing no such thing. It's going to remove the first thing at the top, which is the conversation that we just added in, which means this is what happens. We read our choice and we have this whole big conversation here, but then we select dogs, and then we isolate this second conversation, we add that to the array, but since it then checks at the end of the loop if this choice has reached the end, which it has based off of that current index, it's going to remove the top item, which now is this. So we lose our conversation and we get an index out of range issue. The reason that doesn't happen when we have another line down here is because when it goes to do that check to see if the conversation has ended, our main conversation, which had its progress set to the very end so it could continue off after this second conversation ended, it, it doesn't see that it's reached the end because it has a couple more lines, so it leaves it and then we're able to roll through the other conversations. But if we don't have anything there, then it's going to see it and it's going to remove the wrong conversation. So let's look at this code and it's only two very small changes we have to make, but it's important to understand why. So I've explained what's going on and basically here it is in the logic. We have our main conversation is running, it's rolling through, and then at this point we find the logical line, which is our choice, and we yield until it's completed. Once it has finished, it has gone ahead and set the progress of this current conversation to the very end and it has added a new one in. Well, there's still one more thing to do before this loop is complete and it moves on to that second conversation. And that is trying to advance the first one so that way it's ready for the next loop. And that includes incrementing the progress and removing the one that has just been added. So while we're in here, let's go ahead and just add one little safety check. Let's check if conversation is not equal to the conversation conversationq.top. If this is no longer the top conversation, then we want to return because we do not want to remove a conversation that has just been added in. That's our first safety protocol. And then up at the very top, before we go to try to get this current conversation, because since we're now doing this, that conversation that doesn't have anything at the end of it because we removed the lines and it completely ends at the ending encapsulator, it has set its progress to the very end, but it hasn't destroyed itself. So when we go to fetch that current line, that's going to be out of bounds because it has not destroyed itself yet. So we can go in and just do a little check right here. And we'll do a little safety check and just see if what we have is at the end or not. So if current conversation dot has reached end, 
then we're going to go ahead and say conversation q dot dq we're going to remove it and then continue and move on to the next when we do it this way and we run a choice that completely ends with nothing else after it then we get our choice coming up and we have the choice dialog and it all works and since arachnids have the multiple choices i'll go in there and we can see that we get our other choice and we've got all the right dialogue showing up.